Hello. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a simple terrain in Unity 3D. Before we can begin, we need to import a couple of assets which we'll use throughout this tutorial. Just navigate to Assets, select Import Package, and the first uh, package which we need to import is called the Character Controller. Let's click on that. Accept all the defaults which pop up and just click on Import. Wait for it to load. Okay, now the second uh, package which we need, again, is located in Assets, under Import Package, and it's called Skyboxes. Click on that. Select Import by accepting all the defaults. So wait. Okay, now the third Assets is again located, uh, located under Assets, Import Package, and it's called Terrain Assets. Accept all the defaults, click Import. Last but not least, we need to navigate to Window, select Asset Store. Let's wait for it to load. And let's look up a package called Terrain Assets. It's the first one which pops up. And select import option. Let's just wait for Unity now to process everything. It might take a while. Okay, now it's, since it's done we can close this window. Now we can finally begin creating our terrain. Let's just select terrain and create terrain option. You can immediately see that uh, this plane, this huge uh, plane has been created and in fact it's way too big for our needs so we might want to resize it by a little bit by making sure that this terrain is selected then clicking again on terrain and selecting set resolution option currently this terrain is 2000 meters wide and 2000 meters long and it's way too big for us so we might want to reduce that to let's say 500 meters by 500 meters and just click on set resolution. Now our terrain is in much more manageable size. Let's just zoom out a little bit so we can see it better. Yeah, like so. Okay. Now we can finally begin using our terrain tools. So the first tool is located under inspector uh, panel. And uh, we have all this, these kind of uh, all different set of brushes under the terrain component right here. So let's just select the first brush. This will allow us to raise and lower the terrain. Uh, I'm going to be using the first default built-in brush right here, and all you need to do now is just click and hold left mouse key and uh, drag the cursor around, and you can immediately see that we're starting to low raise the terrain around. We can increase the opacity of the brush all the way to 100 in order to have a bit more prominent effect on our terrain. Like so, for instance. Okay, just uh, raise a little bit, a few more mountains right here. Perhaps we're a little bit more on the edges right here. Like so. Okay, now we have like these couple of spikes which we might want to remove since they look really unnatural and we can do that in a simple uh, simple fashion. Just all we need to do is say uh, hold down uh, the shift key and click and hold the left mouse key. This will allow us to lower the terrain where the cursor is aimed at. Let's lower that spike a little bit too. This one too. These are natural looking ones. Okay, now that's better. Second tool which I would like to show is very useful for establishing uh, big flat surfaces. It's called Paint Height Tool. Again, I'm going to be using this first default brush. Let's make sure that our height can uh, select it at 20 and opacity at 100. And let's just hold the left mouse key and paint around some flat surface. And you can see you immediately see the effect it gives us it gives us this like ni nice flat area 
over our terrain. Okay, we can adjust the height of this flat uh, flat terrain by uh, by manipulating this height slider. And you can see now we have a uh, this flat plateau it's, uh, only occurs at a lower height at ten at eight excuse me unity units or eight meters. Okay, so. Uh, now another tool which I would like to demonstrate is called smooth height, but uh, in order to demonstrate its effect better, we need to come back to raise and lower the terrain tool, and select one of these, uh, one of these brushes, and I will use them to add a little bit more realistic texture to our, um, to our mountains. So let's just draw some, some of this rougher texture around. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, now I can use this smooth height tool in order to eradicate some of this roughness. Let's just select the first brush and hold down the left mouse key and drag the cursor around. You can immediately see the effect it does. It uh, reduces this rough texture, this, uh, this rough pattern I created smoothing it out and making it look a little slightly more natural. Okay. Okay, now that's done. We can, uh, we should be ready to explore our map. But in order to do that, we need to import a couple of assets into, uh, into this terrain before we can do so. So uh, first one of them being is a character controller. It's located under uh, standard assets character controllers and just select this folder and uh, for this uh, tutorial I'm going to be using first person controller so just click and drag it somewhere into the scene like for instance there let's frame it move our uh, controller slightly out of the terrain okay so that's looking uh, looking better Okay, so what we need to do now, before we can begin, we need to add lightning onto our terrain, otherwise it's all going to look very, very, very uh, bland. We can do that by navigating to Game Object, Create Other, and selecting Directional Light. Just move it out of the way. We can rotate it a little bit to adjust the lightning angle. Perhaps I'll leave it somewhere like this. Okay. And another thing which I would like to show you how to, what to do is how to add a um, a skybox component. And we can do that by selecting our first person controller, then navigating to main camera, and then we all we need to do is select component, navigate to rendering, and click on skybox. And as we can see, the skybox component has been added immediately. In order to just apply a skybox texture, we need to click on this button and select one of these skybox textures which we have here. I'm going to be selecting the Sunny 3 texture. I'll just close that. And if I would play, uh, click the play button, we can immediately see the effects, these changes I made. We have the skybox texture and uh, the um, and the terrain is properly illuminated right now. But still, it's not enough for us. We need to apply some of the some texture to the terrain itself so it would look more natural. We can do that quite simply by clicking our terrain and selecting paint texture button. For now we need to establish the base texture for the terrain, so let's just do that by clicking on edit textures, click add texture, select one and select one of these textures which we have here, perhaps um, perhaps, yeah, grass and rock would do just fine. And for this, uh, for in order to eliminate some of the tiling effects it has, we can uh, adjust the size of this texture. Let's just add it first. Yeah, you can see we have some tiling going on and uh, it looks pretty ugly. We can uh, Again, as I said, we can edit that by clicking on Edit Textures. Let me just make sure this texture is selected and increasing the size by a tad. 
like let's say to 35. Now the tiling effect is not as apparent. We can add another texture, for instance, grass texture, by clicking the Add Textures button. Again, and let's select, for instance, um, hmm, grass hill texture right here. And let's click on Add. So let's start, start by selecting this texture and painting around as we see fit. Perhaps across here, a bit across there. Okay, so what we need to do now is, uh, I guess, apply some of the rock texture across our mountains to make them look a bit more natural. We can do that again by clicking on Edit Textures. Let's select, for instance, this layered rock texture. Seems to do just fine. Click on Add, select the texture itself, and draw it across our mountains. Okay, like so. Just look, accuracy does not really matter for, for now. Okay, now it seems like that's done. And we can do we can do one more finishing touch by adding some dirt around our map. We can again do that by editing clicking on edit textures button and let's say select let's select uh, good dirt texture. Just click on add. Though I would like to, if before I begin, I would like to reduce the target strength of this of this brush, so the effect of it wouldn't be too overpowering. Like for as you can as you can see here, it's a little bit too strong. We might want to reduce that by a little bit, so it wouldn't overpower our diff other textures. Yeah, like so, we can increase this uh, the strength a little bit more to let's say to hide this rocky texture underneath. Just apply it in some uneven patches. Let's reduce the strength a little bit more. Okay, and then let's finish up by adding some grass texture on top. Okay, now we have some uneven patches of grass and uh, dirt texture laying around. Okay, so one uh, one more uh, brush which I would like to show is uh, adding trees and details. So this one, place trees uh, brush will allow us to place trees around our map. First of all, we need to define some trees by clicking on this Edit Trees button. Click on Add Tree, select this small uh, point over here, and let's just select perhaps this very first tree right here. Close the dialog, click on Add. Now we have this tree selected. So let's place them around. Create like a small forest right here. Perhaps some here. You can also edit the density of the trees by navigating the slider around. You can see that the placement is much more scarce now. We can add another tree the same way we added the previous. Like for instance, so let's select this pine tree right here. And let's perhaps increase its height a little bit and make sure that uh, the variation, height variation, is a little bit higher so we would get different heights. And that's a little bit too dense for me. Let's perhaps decrease the density a little bit. Yeah, like so. Like so. Okay, and then last but not least, we can add a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, final touches like uh, grass into our map by selecting this very very last uh, second last excuse me uh, brush right here. And again, we have no d detail objects defined. We can do that by clicking on Edit Details, clicking on Add de Grass Texture, selecting the small pointy uh, pointy dot. And perhaps, well, let's select this grass texture, which seems to be fine. Click on Add. And now we can effectively draw the grass around. You can increase the density of the effect by, um, by navigating this target strength slider. Though, 
take note that by if you would add too many tree blade, uh, excuse me, grass blades around your map, the performance would also suffer. Okay, let's just seems to be fine. Let's just have them around. Okay, so now let's click on play button see how our map looks like. And you can see now we have uh, trees around, we have uh, this nice grass texture, uh, the, under, uh, the texture underneath is also evenly applied, and we have some, um, we have the proper skybox along with the mountains. So yeah, everything seems to be functioning just fine. So uh, try, out, uh, try it out for yourselves, it's uh, pretty, the tools are pretty intuitive, and uh, I hope you found this tutorial useful and uh, you will use it in your future projects. Thank you.